Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll build a simple flow that updates the title field in a document library. As you probably know, there is a title field that's the basis of everything basically in SharePoint. Every object has a title. But when you upload files into a document library or create files in a document library, the title field is not filled out. You have a name field instead. Let me show that by just uh, editing the current view here to, so that we can see the title field. And as you see, for most of these documents, it will be blank. And for one of them is PowerPoint presentation. So something that was filled out in the template. So it's either empty or a nonsense value, which is not good. So what I'm gonna do instead is have a flow that automatically sets the title to the same as the name, and the name of the file. And that of course will be much better. And one of the things that the title is useful for is search results. So it's good to have that filled out because that's the highest search ranking. If something fits in the title field, that's um, ranked very, very high in the SharePoint search result. So let's go into my flow and create a flow for this. I'm gonna create from blank and this starter is the when an item is created or changed in SharePoint. It's the one I want to use. So I'm going to go in here, search the connectors and triggers. So I want to do a SharePoint one, of course. When an item is created or modified, that's the one I want. So this one is built for lists primarily. Uh, so when I'm selecting the list name, I don't get the document libraries, but I can enter the document libraries. So I'm going to do that like that. The next step is to get the file properties, but because in some senses the object of a file and the item is not the same thing. It looks like the same thing, but those are two distinct objects. So you need to get the file properties of the item, because in this trigger you only get the item. You need to get the file properties also. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into SharePoint there and get the file properties. And again, we're gonna use the same document library, of course, and the same site. Here you see I get the procedures option because it's a library. And then I'll just use the ID of the item that was created above. And the next step now is to update the list item. So we're gonna add an action for that also. And that's gonna be a SharePoint action. And this, of course, will be update its item. That's what I want to do. The title is, of course, a property on the item. So again, we're going into the HQ site where I'm working, and we're going to be working in the procedures document library. And the ID of the, it's still the same one we're working with, so I'll use that, the ID of, as the identifier. And then I'll update the title of that item to the name of the file. There are two here, there's the file name with extension. I don't think you want the extension in the title. It doesn't really matter. So I'll just use the name here, file name of the item. And that should do it. So let's just save this now. And once it's saved, I will test it. And I'll perform the trigger myself. And the trigger in this case is, of course, when an item is created or modified. So let's save and test that. Now it's waiting for the trigger modify a list item or upload it. All right, so let's upload a new document here. And here in my documents, there should be a file called Reuters. Let's do that one. It's not a procedure, but it doesn't really matter. So now I'm uploading that. And still, it doesn't have a title. You can refresh this view here. Yes, there it is. There's the Reuters filled in. So my flow worked as it should. And of course, now I can go in and just edit this. So one way to do it is to quick edit, just put something, uh, one there or something, and I'll just do a fill all the way up down to these. So now I'm modifying all those documents. So in about five minutes or so, the um, flow should run. And actually it did it right away. I was lucky there. So now you see all the titles are filled out. 
but usually the check for changes in a document library is once every five minutes. So um, we're done. Uh, let's just go back here into my library of um, flows. And as you see here, when an item is created, a modified get update item. That's not a very good description. So I'm just going to edit the flow here and change this and just call it update title because that's what it does. So I'll save that. And that concludes my demo. Thank you for watching.